Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> Just to kind of tag into a little bit here, um, I had three questions, but down to one. <laughs> Good, because we only got one answer. No. <laughs> I know. And uh, last time we spoke uh, in the, from the chair, um, I wasn't enjoying work, and you suggested to stay with the being an uplifter and doing my best. And since then, I have been following the joy, and something showed up outside of work, which is, um, was just an idea a year ago, and I created these storytelling shows in my community. And there's a lot of fun and joy and ease, a lot of hard work, but it also feels like all the gifts and talents, everything I've ever trained for comes together with this. And it's uh, adding a huge, huge value to the community, huge value, I feel, to humanity. And with what you were just saying, as there a way I ride the wave of that joy in this experience and all the energy and the flow with this to align with the wealth in my vortex, too, to align with everything else that's in my vortex by following the joy. Well, it's, it's an interesting thing because it's this, the same thing that got you to where you are gets you to that, too. It's just that you have less hang up about that than you do about the money. You've just right. practiced more money shortage consciousness for longer. And so when you try to integrate that into the process, then you, you sort of uh, bog down just a little bit. But it's exactly the same process. So tell us, if you, if you can and if you want to, okay. what was your thought process about the storytelling? Why did you want to do that? Um, it lights me up. That's actually what I do in my profession. I, we want really short answers. Short, short answers. Uh, joy. It was just fun. You knew it fun. would be fun. So, and, and give us some more emotional words about that. Lights me up. Um, uh, my cheeks are higher in my face. I smile, I smile bigger. <laughs> so, it's easy to feel that you're in alignment about all of that. And yes. so it's easy to understand how there was no resistance about that unfolding. So the nice thing about things as they unfold is that they gain more dimension also. In other words, everything is multidimensional. And so not only, in other words, in your vortex is not only your desire to uplift and your desire right. to have fun and your desire to um, light up others and your desire to be lighted up by them, but you, you also have desire to prosper and desires for others to prosper. In other words, that's in your right. vortex too. Right. So you have allowed your abundant vortex, which has enough in it to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes, by the way. Mm. You have allowed it to deliver some things to you because your resistance isn't that high about them, but not others. Right. So what is it that I've got going on that lets the fun in and lets some of the upliftment in, but isn't letting the prosperity in. What, what have I got wadded up? What's going on within me? What specific thoughts am I holding that are in the way? So you want to see if you can get those specific thoughts that you've practiced into a more general place. So let's talk about abundance. Not in specifics, not in specifics such as coming directly through this program that you've got all lined up, but let's okay. just talk about abundance in general terms. So how does, what does, give us, if you can, an emotional word that represents what prosperity feels like. How, what does prosperity feel like emotionally? Just a, just a word or two. Uh, um, out of reach, you know, that just, I'm just being honest. That That's came, all right. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. So, so prosperity feels hard to you. It feels, it feels even fearful or it feels overwhelming or it fear, feels, but let's, but we're not trying to make anything happen with this. We're just trying to find the emotional essence of prosperity. It feels, it feels free. Now free may not seem like an emotion, but it is. It feels free, it feels lighthearted, it feels like ease, it feels easy, it feels, feels exhilarating, feels fun. Um, prosperity feels, feels open, it feels, it feels soft, it feels easy, it feels, it feels, uh, it feels nice, 
It feels like freedom. It feels, it feels like clarity. It feels, it feels powerful, but it feels easy. Now, what we're demonstrating here, stay with us because you might not have it yet, but you will. The emotion is the most general manifestation that you can find. In other words, if you're talking about how you're, how you're going to get this to pay off, how, you, how are you going to get this program to pay off, how are you going to get people to realize the value of it, you get all wadded up in that. And then, and then you get all wadded up in the human nature of people and they, don't, they want something for nothing and, and, they, and they think it's a talent that you should donate. And, and so there's all, all of this that you kind of get all tangled up in. So we're going to introduce into this conversation a subject that you have thought about if you've been human on this planet for very long but most humans are missing the point of this altogether and it is the subject of unconditional love because almost everyone places conditions on love Con and and we want to use we want to take the word love and pair it with other words that are vibrationally the same unconditional alignment unconditional clarity unconditional love because love and clarity are all about alignment in other words it's about not offering resistance that prevents you from full receiving of source within you in this moment because source is with you in this moment we want we, we, we want to say this to you do you know that the reason that you ever feel a negative emotion in any moment is because source is right there thinking about the thought that you're thinking about from a different point of view in other words, you're never out there on the raw and ragged edge without the attention of source. Source is always right there thinking with you about that. But when you feel negative emotion, the thought of source and the thought of you are different thoughts. In other words, you're not liking that guy and source is, or you're not feeling abundant and source knows the abundance of this universe for you. So anytime you feel negative emotion, it means you're crossways of the way source is thinking right here, right now, not later. You're not being tested for later. Source is with you in every moment. Are you allowing your connection with source in that, this moment? That's what your emotions are telling you all day, every day. So as you're thinking about abundance and you're not thinking about it the way source is thinking about it, then you're thinking like you say words like you just said, hard to do, impossible to do, not likely to happen. So you want to find a way of offering enough words. Esther will sit with a notebook she does this a lot and she will write the condition that needs to change so that she will feel better people need to so in this case people <laughs> need to understand the value of this work and they need to be willing to come and participate in the way that they need to in order for me to feel better about this <laughs> well there are a lot of conditions that you can't control all balled up in that right. so you've got conditions that are preventing you from the love from the abundance from the clarity that you want to feel so you got to do a work around this because most everybody says change that condition and then I'll feel better and then the whole world it seems like is trying to control conditions that they can't control so that they will feel better how is that working out for you hmm. you may not believe this but you go to great extent to try to control others so that you can feel better and all they do is stand stronger in their determination not to be controlled you your children have been teaching you that <laughs> and so you have gotta do a workaround and the workaround is you've got to find a way to feel good unconditionally so Esther writes that out these conditions need to change so that I can feel these ways and then she stops and just focuses on the way she wants to feel and she says as accepting as she can be I accept that these conditions are not likely to change but I still can feel this and this and this and this I can still feel ease when you focus on ease a little bit things that have been easy for you flow into your mind when you focus on fun things that are fun flow into your mind it's a matter of controlling the direction, the vibration of your thought so that you create the atmosphere around you that is conducive to allowing the ideas to flow because they are all around you. The ideas will flow to you. You've just got to do a little preliminary work so that the ideas will flow to you. 
How often have you been collaborating with others? Jerry and Esther used to argue playfully, endlessly, because the same idea would occur to both of them at the same moment, and they both wanted to lay claim to it. <laughs> that was my idea, no, that was my idea, no, that was my idea. It was our idea. It was the idea of source energy. You were just in a mutually conducive place to receive the idea. You see what we're getting at? You're not out here proving anything to anyone. You're not out here on the raw and ragged edge proving anything to anyone. You are transmitting and receiving mechanisms who are adored by source, who are exploring for the purpose of joyous expansion, you see. That's it, joyous expansion. Not here to prove anything, not here to fix anything because nothing is broken. Here for joyous, deliberate creation. And as you, in the same way and from the same place that those ideas came about the structure of this magnificent program, everything else will follow in the same way. You've just got to trust that it will come in the same way that those ideas came, you see. So now we're going to give you one more piece. This is really big. You're going to really like this. So we say to you, someone said to us the other day, Abraham, how do you get rid of doubt? And we gave them the most brilliant and perfect answer that was so annoying to them. <laughs> you get rid of doubt before it starts. Oh, well, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot, because if I've already got the momentum of the thought going that is causing the doubt, then what do I do? And we say, take a nap. Go to sleep, because when you sleep, this is really an important thing to understand. While you are asleep, you withdraw your consciousness. And as you withdraw your consciousness, your cork floats. As you withdraw your consciousness, the momentum of anything unwanted subsides, you see. You become in sync with the source within you. Now when you wake up, most of you pick it up right where it was before and start talking about the same things or going to the same places and having the same emotional responses to things, but you don't have to. So if you would realize that when you wake up in the morning, you have reset, you've pushed the reset button. Your point of attraction is much softer than it was and you can get off on a different foot if you want to. So every morning when you wake up, if you can just lie in your bed for a moment and acknowledge this is a new day and my point of attraction is fresh and I get to decide what conditions I use to block my energy stream or what things I'm going to focus on that don't. And then just lie there in your bed and find something to appreciate and be as general as you can until the momentum of well-being gets going. And before you know it, ideas will begin to flow to you flow, 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 flow. You'll find yourself so full of good ideas and rendezvousing with so many things that you want. And people who don't know the simplicity and the skill of this art of allowing will be looking at you and saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? It seems like you barely offer an idea about something that you desire. And it begins to, and it comes almost immediately to you. You say, I've, I'm learning how to let in the things that I've been asking for by not trying so hard by being the realizer of them rather than the orchestrator of them rather than the efforter of it rather than the instead of making it happen I'm letting it happen rather than searching for my path I'm realizing that my path is here I, my path is coming to me mm -hmm. I just want to be in a mindset that I see it that I recognize it when it comes and you've all had these experiences we know you have we have enjoyed this interaction we think this is an especially good time for a segment of refreshment